In this video, I'm going to show you how to create box overlay like this in OBS Studio easily. And for this setup, I'm going to be making use of Uno Overlay. And you can add in amazing graphics from Uno Overlay in OBS Studio to spice up your live streams. I'm going to be leaving the link down in the description and on the pinned comment so you can sign up. And if you need unlimited plan, you can get it for $2.99, which is about 4,000 Naira. And you can also join their Discord community to drop your feedback click the link below to join immediately you sign up this is the home page and you can come over to library and on that library i'm just going to search for video box i'm going to be using this stream pack over here click on it and click on add to my overlays so i've successfully added it to my overlay next i'm going to click on the three dot icon and click on open next under the background this is where you can be able to select whether you want to use your image or you can use color so for this setup i'm going to be using color so click on this over here and select color so this is where you can be able to change the color to whatever you want to use next i'm going to click on location box and this is where you can be able to rename the text so i'm just going to rename it next click on names and this is where you can be able to adjust the names and as you can see i have successfully edited the lower third under the box next click on the ticker and this is where you can be able to adjust the scrolling text so you can type in whatever you want to add in and below this is where you can be able to adjust the speed so i'm just going to be leaving it like this next click on customize and this is where you can be able to adjust the color of the lower thoughts and scrolling text. And when you are done choosing the color you want to use, click on the output settings over here. And for this setup, we are using the landscape. And this is where you can be able to select transparent for the background color. So I'm just going to leave it like this and click on copy output URL. So I'm just going to head over to OBS Studio. Now in OBS Studio, I'm going to create a new scene in OBS Studio and title it as two in one. Next, under sources, click on the plus icon and add the browser. Next, I'm going to adjust the width and height and you can set the width and height according to your resolution in OBS Studio. And on the URL, highlight it and paste in the URL from you know overlay. Next, scroll down on the custom CSS highlight it and delete it and when you are done just click on ok and as you can see i have added it in obs studio next i'm going to add in my camera and a presentation feed on the sources click on the plus icon and go to video capture device i'm going to select my camera and as you can see this is my camera over here next i'm going to set my camera to fit into the box properly so to do that just rescale it from here so i'm just going to position it to where the box is long press on the alternative key on your keyboard and you'll be able to rescale it to fit into the box and as you can see i've successfully added my camera feed to fit into the first box next i'm going to add in my presentation feed now this is my presentation feed next I'm just going to right click on the presentation feed and move to transform that transform I'm going to be using stretch to screen now I can be able to adjust it to fit into the box properly on the presentation feed I'm just going to drag it down to fit into the box properly and you can also do the same thing for your camera so it can fit into the box properly once you are done with the setup just switch the scene and as you can see i've successfully added two in one overlay in obs studio easily if you want to make more adjustments what you can do is to minimize it and move to the overlay over here now in you know valley come over to controls under controls this is where you can be able to turn off some things for instance you can decide to turn off the location and as you can see it has turned off you can decide to off the name which is the lower third and another good thing about this is that you can make life changes to the title come over to names and change it and as you can see it has edited life in obs studio next i'm going to add in single box in obs studio to do that head over to the library and search for spots and when you see the one you are looking for just click on it and add to your overlay so now i'm just going to click on the three dot icon here and click on open 
now on the background this is where you can be able to make adjustments just scroll down on the texture over here this is where you can be able to choose the ones you need you have various options here so i'm just going to leave it like this this is where you can also adjust the opacity so i'm just going to leave it like this and scroll down and on the logo this is where you can be able to upload your logo under images click on upload and upload your logo move back to the overlay over here and select the folder icon then select your logo and as you can see i've successfully added my logo and banner over here next move to lower thirds and this is where you can be able to adjust the lower third now on the talking points this is where you can be able to adjust the text over here so you can decide to off it if you don't need it and if you want to make adjustments turn it on and under here this is where you can be able to make adjustments to the title so i'm just going to rename it next move to the topic bar and adjust the title and on the customize overlay this is where you can be able to select the color palette just select it over here and you can adjust it so i'm just going to leave it on blue once you are done just click on output settings and copy output url head over to obs studio now in obs studio i'm just going to add in another scene name it as single box now under sources click on the plus icon and add in another browser next on the url paste in the url from you know overlay and on the width and height adjust the width and height scroll down and delete the custom css once you're done click on ok next i'm going to add in my camera just click on the plus icon and add in video capture device now i'm going to rescale my camera long press on the alternative key to adjust it next i'm just going to drag my camera down and as you can see i've successfully added single box in obs studio another you know overlay move to controls from the control this is where you can be able to turn off some things and from the controls you can make some adjustments here and if you want to change the text you can also make adjustments here with you know overlay this setup is very easy to create in obs studio do not forget to click the link in the description and on the pinned comment to sign up if you found this video helpful do not forget to hit the like button comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any question drop it down in the comment section below if you want to learn more about media the link to join my telegram channel is in the description below click the link below to join my name is ebenezer from osa studio see you in my next video